Another large trend that is important to you has to do with data centers. And this might surprise people because they think of them as these vast, quiet rooms with no moving parts. But in fact, you have a lot that you can do with those places, right? What is it? In a data center today, it's clearly full of computers or servers. But around that, you have to manage the power. Power, cooling, reliability of the, of the data center. And we've built a business over the last uh, 25 years to serve this industry, both from uh, power quality, from a power management, and the oversight uh, of, of that organization. And the data centers have come from you know, small to large and back down to small. And now we have a tr uh, trend going on with these, these hyperscale size uh, data centers based on the Googles and the Facebooks. And the whole technology there is how to make it more energy efficient, more reliable, and, and to try to get as much inside a, a footprint without using a lot of power and heat. And that's what we do is we manage that. And the other issue going on right now is it's not just data centers, but the telecommunication companies are now moving into the same space. So if you think of about an ATT or Verizon, they, they make most of their money today moving data. And data has to go through like data centers. And so you know, from that standpoint, we're now seeing the tele telecommunication centers becoming more and more like computer rooms. And uh, so we're having to you know, sort of rebuild our footprint and our technology to be able to serve that industry too, which is quite interesting, a little sort of diversification for us. Uh, I would think so. And in fact, I would imagine that the global outlook for cooling and refrigeration demand is probably quite strong. It's very strong, especially in the emerging markets. When you think that in places like China or India, over 35% of the food is wasted. It's, it's, it's just wasted because it's not properly stored or cooled. And so as we've, as we've developed the cooling technology and the refrigeration technologies to help those countries who already have a food problem to, to try not as much food waste. Uh, and so you know, from our perspective, as we look at the technology from an efficiency standpoint and the, and the ability to make it more cost effective for places like India and places like China, uh, it's been a huge market for, place for us. When we first went into, into Asia, and I moved there in 1992, we were $400 million in Asia. We had maybe five, five, 6,000 people, maybe. Maybe it was more like 2,000 people. Today in Asia, you know, Asia Pacific, we're over 6 billion, and we employ close to, you know, 45, 50,000 people. And a lot of this has been driven by the, the data, the cooling, and the process industry. But that cooling was our biggest thrust early on because of trying to refrigeration and things like that. So it's, an amazing marketplace how it's changed.